Greetings and welcome to the naturalmattressfinder.com YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Boudreau. Today we'll be looking at what not to buy when you're looking for a natural latex mattress. Here we go. So I came across this quote unquote natural latex hybrid mattress because I spent a lot of time uh, vetting out different mattresses that I like to feature on naturalmattressfinder.com. So uh, it piqued my interest because I saw that the price was really low and affordable. I'll just go into the nitty gritty here. So you've got the bed story 10 inch natural latex hybrid mattress queen. Uh, the description kind of goes on forever here. Soft foam and supportive individually encased pocket coils mattress. Luxury, medium, firm, Euro top mattress, 10 year warranty. Sounds pretty good. But once you get into at what's inside, it's quite shocking. So I'll just show you what's inside here. Uh, you actually only have a 0.5 inch Dunlop latex foam, which is not even third party certified. So there's no way to even know if this uh, quote unquote latex foam is actually 100% natural or is it one of these synthetic blend uh, latex foam materials that typically contain less than 5% of natural latex. So here as a base layer, you have the fabric encased coils, which is pretty standard for a um, mattress, whether it be a polyurethane mattress or a natural mattress. But on top of that, you need a, you need some comfort layers. So here they've put in a 0.5 inch of a thick layer of Dunlop latex foam. After this, you have a 0.6 inch layer of soft comfort foam. And what these companies do is often they'll just call the it's just basically polyurethane foam is what it is. It's different variations of polyurethane foam, but in, in order to not use this nasty chemical name, they'll come up with all kinds of creative ways to market it. So that in this case, they call it soft comfort foam. Sounds pretty harmless, right? But the polyurethane foam is full of really toxic chemicals and it will off gas chemicals into your living environment. So it will make the air um, polluted with toxic chemicals, volatile organic compounds. So on top of this, we have uh, what they refer to as the comfort layer or the, the Euro top rather. Uh, so the, the Euro top is this, let me see if I can pull it up here, get a better, okay, here. Here we see it really well. This is the Euro top, what they call the Euro top. It's just the design a way to design the mattress that makes it look really luxurious and soft, but it doesn't really add anything to the mattress. It's just basically different, different layers piled, uh, layered on top of each other. And this is just an, a way to style the outside of the mattress. This is the kicker here. They call it air cycle foam. But once you get down to it, it's just polyurethane foam that is uh, made with different densities. Just like with natural latex, you can bake the foam or have the foam chemically react to, to obtain a different density. So they'll usually put a softer density here on the top. These two layers are polyurethane and you have this 1.5 inch Dunlop latex foam, which is, I don't know if you realize how, how thin that is, but half an inch, we're talking about this, this thick here. The space between my fingers, it's like barely, if you had that on a mattress, it would be barely noticeable. So clearly to me, this, this is like a marketing ploy because as we see here, the 0.5 inch of Dunlop latex foam occupies a very small percentage of the overall foam or comfort layer. It's actually the, the, the thinnest layer and they call it the 10 inch natural latex hybrid mattress. So this is uh, something you need to be aware of when you're looking around for a natural latex mattress. This clearly to me is not a natural latex mattress. Also uh, a, a negative point is that this top layer here will have fire uh, resistant chemicals added to it. So this is in order for the mattress to be able to be sold in the US. It needs to pass flammability tests. So in this case, fire resistant chemicals will be added to that top layer. With a natural latex mattress, 
you will not have the fire resistant chemical layer. You'll have uh, typically a wool layer, which is resistant to fire. If you're looking to benefit from the natural aspects of getting a natural latex mattress, which is no VOCs, uh, very comfortable, and also three times as durable, you will not find it in a mattress like this. The top layers will be sagging within a few years. You'll get the vol volatile organic compounds and also many other disadvantages. The one advantage of this mattress is it's priced significantly lower than the real deal mattresses that I feature. So this is a mattress that I would never feature on naturalmattressfinder.com. Just because it says natural latex hybrid mattress, it doesn't mean it's actually what they say it is. In this case, we've clearly seen that it's basically a polyurethane mattress with this token uh, Dunlop latex foam layer added for marketing purposes basically. On top of that, the Dunlop latex foam layer is not third party certified. The typical third party certifications that you would need to ensure that this natural latex layer is the real deal is GOLS, that's the Global Organic Latex Standard. You also have Oecotex, you also have Eco Institute, and you can find out some more about the certifications on naturalmattressfinder.com. I'll leave a link below in the description. Uh, it looks good, it definitely looks good on the outside, but it's not something that you would want to invest in if you're looking for a natural latex mattress. So if you wanna check out some real natural latex mattresses without the polyurethane uh, components or without the chemical fire barriers, without the polyester cover and who knows what other synthetic material, head on over to naturalmattressfinder.com and right on the homepage without any opt-in required, I've put together uh, an amazing comparison chart where you can compare all the best third-party certified natural latex mattresses. So the great thing about this chart is you can sort the mattresses by uh, hybrid or latex core. The other way to sort this chart is by thickness. So we can have thinnest to thickest and thickest to thinnest. Some of the great popular mattresses are the Brentwood Home Cedar here and the Sleep Easy makes really good mattresses, Avocado Green and the three plush beds models are really good quality. So this is a, an investment. Try not to go for the cheapest thing you can find. Trust me, it will not last. It'll be full of chemicals. If you want something that will last at least three times longer and be beneficial for your body that whole time, head over to my site, naturalmattressfinder.com. Thanks for checking out this video today. My name is Daniel Boudreau. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next one.